Right now, police are trying to figure out who shot a UPS driver in Humboldt Park and why. That driver is currently recovering at the hospital. And CBS 2's Sabrina Franza is on the scene tracking what happened. Take a look at this car. Now, this is down the street from where that UPS driver was shot, and there is another bullet hole inside the windshield of this car down the block again from where that crime scene began. That scene got larger as police continue their investigation. A UPS driver on the job grazed by a bullet. More littered the street. Some struck cars a block away. The shooter on the run. I heard multiple shots. And that's when I ducked. You know, people was diving on the floor. I ducked and ran in the store until everything was over. Julius asked we withhold his last name. He hit the ground until he was sure the shooting had ended. Don't try to be nosy and see who it is or what it is, because you just might get a bullet yourself. Other neighbors told us similar stories, described the UPS driver as a friendly face. I've seen him. He uh, delivers here probably just about every day. Someone who's been working in the neighborhood for a long time. Very uh, nice young man, you know, just going back and forth. Uh, no one in the neighborhood bothers him. So when I heard this, that this had happened, I was surprised. Reverend Wade Wansi's church is steps from where this happened. He's dedicated his time to making his neighborhood better. We have to keep working, keep working with the people in the community, keep trying to reach our youth, and uh, that's, that's what we're doing here, that we want to make an impact in this community. UPS told us that they're thankful that their driver is safe at this time. It is not clear if this was a random act of violence or if that driver was targeted in any way. There have not been any arrests. We're in Humboldt Park. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News.